Well, we've got a whole bunch of components on now. We're still missing quite a few because they're on either, they're shipping from a different warehouse. But uh, yeah, we're doing pretty well. I accidentally misordered some uh, transistors as well. Forgot to get as many as we needed, but uh, we've got the main chip. So we're going to go ahead and just program them. And the beautiful thing is, look at that device location. So we're using a uh, PIC 18F2550s and it just fits in. You don't need any weird wires going anywhere, which is fantastic. So to program this, it's easy. I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna have to run wires out here to the chip legs. I even had the socket out to wire to. Nope, all good. So all you do is you grab your pick code, which for me is on the desktop there. Double click, return. And next thing you know, it's there. And then you just hit, uh, I guess right. And then all you have to do is wait and wait. As you can see, the old VCC and VPP are hard at work. Having a good time. And of course we're using the GQ4X. And that's how you do it. Nearly done. We're all good. Oh wait, that was the Atmel. The Atmel needed to be wired up weird. I think. Yeah. Oh well. That's how you do it. Hey now. Chip is programmed, programmed nice and easy with GQ4X, which I might have done a video on. If I did, it's just going to be a few seconds on the rewind. So we've got uh, pretty much all resistors except, uh, ooh, what are we waiting on? 2.7K resistors and some uh, more of these types of uh, capacitors. So they're all on their way. I'm also waiting on a single. I've got this one, I just don't have one for here. <laughs> I ordered a pack of five instead of a pack of ten. So that's 